For WeAreSC.com, I'm Angel Vizcarra, joined by USC senior tight end Tyler Petit following the Trojans' Tuesday practice of Arizona State Week. And Tyler, the team obviously coming off a pretty tough weekend out in Utah. Uh, what would you say was some of the biggest struggles offensively? I mean, we just couldn't get the ball moving. Um, you know, we really needed to establish the run game. And I mean, that's that's any time, especially, you know, when you have a, a younger quarterback and, you know, we need to establish the run game first and to be able to set up the pass game. And, and, that, and that's how it works. And and uh, we just weren't getting that job done. And um, I mean, they, they played a heck of a game. I mean, we went back and we watched the tape and, and uh, you know, Coach Clay talked to us about it and he was like, you know, there weren't as many assignment errors as I thought, but there, you know, it was just like maybe sustaining a block for one more second, um, you know, kind of really small thing. So, so going through the film, it was a little bit more encouraging than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, at least like it's some small things, but you know, if we want to be a good team, if we want to be a good team, we have to make sure that we do those small things. All right, and for you, a touchdown reception this past weekend, but overall this year, I think it's safe to say the tight end core has been kind of injured. There's been some issues. Would you say there's maybe been some struggles as far as maybe getting tight end production so far this year? Um, yes and no. I mean, I think, um, uh, you know, I think that there have been some injuries that have kind of hurt us a little bit and, um, you know, gotten us to a slow start. But at the same time, um, you know, you're seeing a lot more teams now just bring um, crazy amounts of pressure and, and play all sorts of games. And, you know, so when, so when we create our game plan, it's, you know, we got to make sure that we're putting our quarterback in the best position possible. And, um, you know, that means that we have to stay in and protect a little bit more um, or, you know, be a little bit more active in the run game. And, and you know, that's just kind of how, how it is. And obviously it was different last year because Sam was a different quarterback and, you know, we had a different team. So um, with teams that are starting to bring more and more pressure on us, we have to make sure that we give JT or Jack or Holden or whoever, Matt Fink, we have to make sure that we're giving him the time to make sure that we can secure a throw. So, um, you know, I, the underproduction, like maybe would seem like, you know, things like wouldn't necessarily be called our way, but it's just because of, you know, what teams are doing against us and what the team needs of us as a group. All right. And speaking of your quarterback, JT Daniels, could you talk a little bit about maybe kind of the ups and downs he's had so far this year and maybe what's the prospect of having Jack like for this weekend for this team? I mean, you know, with any young quarterback, there, there's a learning curve. And, uh, you know, you talk about a guy that um, obviously didn't graduate early, which, you know, isn't necessarily a problem. But in terms of really like adapting to the flow quickly, um, you know, he didn't get those spring reps, which, you know, again, isn't a problem. But it just means that it's going to come a lot faster, yeah. you know, like instead of having spring ball, you just kind of get like a couple weeks of fall camp and then you're right into the season. So, um, you know, it's just like little things that he has to work on with his game that they're, you know, figuring out in the uh, in the QB room and um, and just adjusting to the speed. I mean, it's a lot different than high school, uh, obviously. So um, and especially with all the pressure that teams are starting to bring with us. And, it, you know, it's tough as a young quarterback just to be able to sit in there in general, let alone when you have like, yeah. you know, eight guys coming at you. Um, and with Jack, you know, He's just a guy that's steadily been preparing since he got here. And, um, you know, he's a guy that's always around. He's always part of the team. And, and I think that's what's great about our backups is that they didn't really let what happened get to them. And they're still here for their brothers. And, um, you know, they're still doing the best job that they can. So if Jack went out there on Saturday, I would have no issue. I wouldn't lose any bit of confidence at all. All right. And I'll wrap up just by noting with the loss, now a three-way tie atop the South Division. This Saturday's game is huge. Needless to say, uh, what's going to need to go right for that win against the Sun Devils? I mean, we're just going to need to be able to move on offense. Um, you know, looking back at last game, I think the defense had a really good game. Um, and, you know, some people maybe dock the defense, but, um, you know, it's tough when you have seven three and outs in your first seven drives. Um, you know, just as a player going out for three plays and then just having to go right back in, I mean, that's tough for anybody. Um, so, you know, I think that the majority of the blame falls on the offense. And, um, you know, we just need to make sure that we establish a run game and um, we just kind of stick to what we know and what we do best and make sure that we just keep sustaining drives. Um, you know, even if it ends in, you know, an eight play drive, that's a field goal. Like we need something like that. And we also have to capitalize off turnovers, um, you know, off that muff punt, we, we weren't able to punch it in or even score, um, which was huge. You know, even three, like, you know, that's potential 10 points uh, swing right there. Um, so we need to make sure that we capitalize on that, but it all just starts with the offense. All right, Tyler, thank you very much for the time today. I'll tell you what, you got a future in this TV thing. You got to do a great job breaking things down. Tyler Petit, move.
voice crack. Tyler Petit and the Trojans will be taking on Arizona State this Saturday at the Coliseum. Still in the hunt for that Pac-12 South title. Angel Viscara, joined by Tyler Petit. You're watching. We are SC.